Okay. This is the uh, rifle. And like I said, I'm going to leave links to all of the pieces that uh, we used to uh, be able to make this, uh, this uh, Mandalorian armor and uh, all everything. Okay. Uh, there's the tuning forks that goes on the front. Um, you'll notice there's... Let's see if we can focus. You'll notice that there is a uh, silver mark on the bottom right here and that side goes down and it goes inside okay all right uh this okay uh okay you see there's this screw down here at the bottom of uh this this part of the gun and uh the reason why you want to keep the remember this uh silver mark that's on the bottom you want to keep that on the bottom and the reason why is so that the screw holes uh see if i can back up and zoom in and focus okay yeah kind of focus the screw the screw holes see the screw holes uh, that's the reason why the paint is going to be on the bottom is so that uh, the screw holes will line up and you'll notice that there's also another screw hole on the side I'll show you that in a minute okay so that goes on there and then this one goes inside of here okay And then this piece goes and this piece goes in here and so there you go the whole thing is all the way put together let's uh, get the tape measure from there Okay, all the way to the end is about 30, 31 inches, something like that, which is uh, 31 inches. No, wait, no. Oh, what the hell am I? Okay, from there, all the way over there. Oh, I was, uh, okay, never mind. No, it's uh, 52 inches long, which is uh, like four feet and some change <laughs> anyways um meow meow love you kitty oh and little kitty okay so um to uh get this part to stay inside that part there's a screw right here i uh painted the top of the screw black okay so i'm gonna take that out and when you take all of these pieces out uh just screw the screw all the way back in and so you'll know where the screw is going to be so you can take it and screw it in all the way down and uh we can take that one out there's a screw right there you can see underneath the site okay take that apart and get the tuning forks and uh out at the end here you know like you've seen already there's a there's another screw and the tuning fork let me show you the thing that I figured out how to do you can take the tuning fork and remember you got to have the paint stripe down so that uh, that screw hole right there will fit in with that screw okay there we go now we've got a carbine <laughs> And you can screw in that screw and the and the fork stays on the front and um okay and another thing uh remember the uh the little knife the um uh the vibro blade knife the vibro blade knife uh started um bending under the sunshine when i was painting it so it's got like this bowed shape so i had to flatten it out and try to straighten it out 
anyways, because that little itty bitty thing will start to droop just from sitting in the sunshine for 30 minutes, then that means this whole big ass long gun, if you're outside in the daytime in the sun with this big long gun, then it's, I guarantee you, this whole thing is going to start drooping and it's going to be all, you know, yeah, limp and ugly and weird. So, uh, so don't walk around with this uh, outside in the sunshine uh, while it's fully put together the whole long thing. That will make it start um, drooping in the sun. But uh, you can take it inside and walk around inside because the inside lights aren't going to make it heat up and start drooping. Okay? But uh, anyways, there's this uh, little, this little carbine uh, thing that I made now that you can carry it looks like a sawed off shot sawed off carbine whatever thing uh, you can put this together and you could probably walk around with this in the sunshine and I don't think it'd start drooping too much but uh, can't walk around with the whole long thing in the sunshine but you could probably walk around with this thing in the sunshine and you know that might be okay but uh, yeah, otherwise, you can walk around with your rifle at nighttime or in the dusk when the sun is uh, going down, you know, and you don't have direct light really, and uh, it won't heat it up. So uh, there you go. I think that's about it. I'm pretty much uh, done making these videos. I'm so glad. Uh, that was the last thing I had to do, uh, make the videos everything's done just make the videos and uh, then put it in a box and send it away okay uh, oh yeah and uh, I'm sending some extra screws I'm sending some extra screws just in case just in case you lose some screws you'll have a couple extra screws and I'm also sending extra safety pins These are safety pins even though they're all blurry can't really see them very well but they're safety pins so I'm sending some extra safety pins okay and uh, one last thing that doesn't have anything to do with Mandalorian armor uh, Skippy likes uh, going camping and doing outdoorsy stuff and so um, I got this uh, 12 volt 10 watt solar panel it's made out of monocrystalline so uh, solar cells which is the best kind and you can tell because it's really small for its size and uh, so anyways I'm gonna take this and uh, put a um, put a solar charge controller you may not be able to see that that's a solar charge controller I'm gonna put one on this and it has you see up here yeah that, that's a USB cable that's plugged in right there um, you can um, you will be able to use this to be able to charge up your 5 volt devices your 5 volt USB devices kind of like your cell phone or tablet or anything that takes 5 volt USB pretty much uh, and also and uh, when I put the um, the uh, regulator on there, the solar charge controller, when I put that on there, then uh, you'll be able to charge up everything with the 5 volt USB output. And also, you'll be able to charge 12 volt car batteries. And, you know, thus you'll be able to have some amount of electricity to be able to do things. One thing that uh, I'm going to send along to Skippy is this thing, which is a electric fire starter which is an electric fire starter there you go and it also has a flashlight but uh, it's really weird how it works and uh, you know but uh, anyways and uh, Oh yeah, and then I'm gonna send a you know a little power bank that I'm gonna make and some stuff like that. So, anyways, so I'm gonna make a couple of these. I'm gonna send one to Skippy. I'm gonna send one to Clueless. I'm gonna send one to Captain Savage, and probably some other people that are interested in um, camping and you know outdoor stuff, survival. <laughs> okay, so there you go. There's uh, all the things that I'm going to be sending to Skippy Lou. 
Skippy Lou, you're going to love this. Uh, people are going to see your arm gauntlets with their lasers and their lights and their digital readouts. And people are going to stop you often and ask you, hey, can I get a picture of you? So you got to get good. Got to whip out your, uh, got to whip out your sword and the blaster and get into cool looking poses or something, maybe. I don't know. But uh, yeah, lots of people are going to stop you and ask for pictures. Okay. Uh, yeah. Love you guys. Thank you all very much for checking out the the uh, Mandalorian armor that my friend spent 250 bucks worth of plastic on. And uh, we built and so uh, only thing I want is a, a, a couple good pictures or maybe some video of Skippy at the anime convention. That's what I'm hoping for. But uh, Skippy said she's going to send me a present. She's going to send me a box with uh, some cool stuff from uh, where she lives. And that's going to be sweet. And uh, so anyways, yeah, okay. I'm done. I'm done. Thank you all. I'm done. Thank you all. Goodbye. Love you guys. Uh, stay safe out there and happy.